mention the name Paul Bia and I will show you what a dictator looks like. After spending more than two, close to two months out of the country and barely 24 hours in Cameroon, the first thing President Paul Bia thought of is changing the military. He reshuffled the army yesterday, the 22nd of October, 2024. That is the first thing President Pobia did after returning to Cameroon. And the question TFA Talking Point is asking is, why is President Pobia afraid? And what is he afraid of? Because the main thing President Pobia is holding on to is military, military, military. There is nothing he is thinking about. And Cameroon, there is no security in Cameroon. Cameroon is a one of the country with a high rate of insecurity. But the, 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 higher, the, the bigger portion of the national cake, the, the annual budget goes to the military. But we are not seeing what they are doing. But President Pobia is so much interested for his own personal interest to secure himself in power. That is the main reason why he is holding on to this military issue, solution in Cameroon. And everything in Cameroon now is gradually turning in the, and going in the hands of the military. In schools or military, in hospital, military, anywhere. People want to ask anything. You ask a doctor a question, they call military upon you. Because that is the system in Cameroon. If this is your first time joining TFA Talking Point, please subscribe to our channel. Follow us on all our social media platforms. In 20, just one year plus, that is in August 2023, President Paul Bia reshuffled the military. And less than one year, he is doing the same thing. Why? And that is the question TFA Talking Point is asking the government of Cameroon. Why? In 2023, August, we knew that it was because of fear of what happened in Gabon, neighboring country. The coup d'etat. And President Pobia was afraid and immediately reshuffled the military. And to return back to Cameroon after spending 49 days out of the country, President Pobia returned and the first thing he thought of is to reshuffle the military again. Why is President Pobia afraid? Because I knew that maybe it is because of what they gather. When rumors were going around that he is not more. I mean, I believe that is where the fear came in. Maybe when they gather all the rumors and what people were saying, they discovered that Cameroonians are not for President Pobia. And truly, Cameroonians are not for President Pobia. Nobody in Cameroon asks people without any television where they don't have to show their faces. Ask, and out of 100 people, there will be no one person amongst the common people that will stand and say, I am for President Pobia. And with this, he is afraid. And even within those he has selected to form his government, many do not want to see President Pobia with their own naked eyes. And President Pobia is afraid. And that is why he is focusing on, at 91, you are still struggling to hold on to power. Why? So he returned back to Cameroon, 24 hours. After returning from Europe, he reshuffled the military again. In a degree, on Tuesday, October 22nd, Paul Bia appointed new faces. So with all this rearrangement within the military, the TFA talking point now is asking this particular question. Why? Why is President Paul Bia so afraid and the only thing he is focusing on is the military for all these days out of the country cameroonians were talking and talking where is our president and then the government came out people came out and said a lot of things president Pobia, the first thing we were supposed to was to tell cameroonians about the constitution that the constitution does not state or said anything concerning the numbers of days I have to stay outside. The second thing President Pobia was supposed to focus on and say to explain to Cameroonians why he was out of the country all this period without communicating with anybody, without showing himself, without attending meetings that Cameroonians elected him to attend. 
like the United Nations General Assembly, the Francophonie session that held in Paris. We were expecting him there. And then he was not there. He was supposed to explain to Cameroonians why he was not there. Not to go ahead to be changing and to securing his own self in position. It is terrible. And TFA talking point is so worried about the people of Cameroon. Because we are praying. Countries are changing, developing. But Cameroon remains in one position. No route, no electricity, no drinkable water. Insecurity everywhere. President Bobia could have returned back and asked questions. Or even struggled to explain to Cameroonians. And see into it that Cameroonians will stop involving themselves in criminal activity, human trafficking, drug addiction, and many other insecurity issues in Cameroon. But President Pobia decided to be changing people around him for his own security and those he has selected to squander the taxpayer money. We are not going to stop talking. What we want to see in Cameroon is for President Pobia to resign as the president of Cameroon. Go home, sit with your great-grandchildren, play it around, because people have the same mentality. Not sitting in an office, frustrating the lives of all, three, 30, all 30 million Cameroonians. It is not advisable for a 91-year-old person to be leading people. You are an elderly person. Truly, if you were in Europe, you could have been in an elderly home for people to be taking care of you, feeding you, not that you have to be governing people. 